Senator Fawcett. Thank you, Mr Acting Deputy President. I rise to uh, celebrate the contribution of a notable South Australian to the area of uh, research in agriculture, to community and to, on a broader level, South Australia's economy. And I'm talking here about Mr Mark Hill OAM. Uh, I first met Mark when I was the member for Wakefield. Uh, Wakefield's a seat that stretches from uh, Elizabeth and Salisbury in the south up to Port Wakefield, across through Clare to Kapunda. In the east and smack in the middle of it is the township of Tar Lee. Now, Tar Lee is a place that I had heard about ever since I was being a teenager. My dad, uh, Dr Bob Fawcett, was an agricultural research scientist and he did many trials up through Tar Lee to Balaclava and down in the Mallee. And uh, later in life, as a uh, pilot, I flew out of the RAF base at Edinburgh and Tar Lee was right under the area where we used to conduct many of our test activities. So I knew Tar Lee well, but I didn't actually know Tar Lee. Uh, when I was the candidate for election to uh, the seat of Wakefield, I uh, got to know many of the communities. And in fact, my dad's work uh, in things like reduced tillage and crop rotation and stubble retention had actually built a fantastic legacy. And so as I moved around communities, people kind of go, is that who you are? And one of the first people to do that was Mr Graham Hill, uh, who is Mark's father. And he pointed out the fact that uh, right back in the 1970s, uh, he'd participated with the Department of Agriculture in some of the trials my dad had been involved with. And then more uh, recently in the 1980s, there were crop rotation trials on his farm. And uh, as part of that, I got to know him uh, reasonably well at the time. But Mark in particular I got to know because I asked Mark what else they ran other than cereal crops on their farm and uh, Mark said that they ran sheep. And so I asked him whether that was fat lambs or wool, at which he kicked my shins and I think I still have the scar and he informed me that they're actually prime lambs, not fat lambs. And I'll come to that a little bit further. Because Mark is uh, someone who has followed in his father's footsteps of being uh, someone who has dedicated his life to his community and to agriculture. Uh, he received the Order of Australia Medal this year in the Queen's Birthday Honours List in recognition of his service to both agriculture and livestock industries and to his community in Tar Lee. Uh, Mark has been on the farm since he finished schooling in the 1960s and uh, he and his father have been early adopters of change over many years. And one of the key things that we in government need to remember is that we can have all the research programs we like, we can have departments who want to innovate and initiate things, but none of it will go anywhere if we don't have people on the ground, locals, who are willing to invest their time and energy and take a risk to actually try something new and help to gather data to prove that it works. And so Graham and Mark have been uh, early adopters of things like rotating crops, of uh, reduced tillage, moving through now to direct drilling, uh, stubble retention, uh, with minimal burning. And I say that gratefully as somebody who grew up in Adelaide, and I remember uh, when it was stubble burning time, uh, quite often Adelaide was enveloped with smoke coming from the mid-north and Adelaide plains, and uh, occasionally when you got a strong northerly wind, much of the good topsoil from that area also passed over our roofs, much to my mother's disgust with washing. Out. And so some of the advantages are not only better soil structure, moisture retention and better cropping, uh, but also significant environmental benefits have come through uh, the work that Mark has been involved with. He's also been actively involved uh, in the Durham Growers Association of South Australia, uh, the South Australian Crop Science Society, the South Australian Lamb Development Team, uh, and in fact um, also the South Australian Lamb Committee and he was on that from 1975 to 1990s and he was the chair of that for eight years and it was during that time he transformed the categorisation and labelling of the meat, uh, sheep meat industry from the concept of fat lambs to prime lamb and changed the whole way that was marketed. The, um, He's also had uh, a view beyond the local scene. He's been very involved with the MLA, uh, supporting initiatives to promote land, not only locally, but also into export markets. And uh, export uh, from South Australia has been a significant contributor to our economy. He's also made significant contributions to the community. Uh, for example, the Riverton, Saddleworth and Marable United Football Club. Uh, he's been a long-term member of that, the Rural Youth of South Australia, the Tarley CFS, where he was both a founding member and is still an active volunteer, 
uh, the Tali Tennis Club, the Tali Hall Committee, and uh, I recall nights where he would organise film nights, and as a local member I'd turn up to enjoy a film night with the community from Tali, um, as well as the Riverton District High School Committee and the Tali Primary School Committee. And I will just diverge briefly to say that one of my favourite memories of being the member for Wakefield in that other place was visiting Tali Primary School one day where the uh, head of the school, a uh, very well-spoken and confident young lady, came out to meet me and escorted me in and in front of the assembled school and parents and staff, uh, stood up to introduce me and couldn't work out why everybody burst out laughing when she introduced the feral member for Wakefield, which uh, I thought was just fantastic. It's still a great memory. <laughs> so Mark represents uh, the best of what I see in country South Australia of somebody who is committed to not only conserving uh, the environment they live in, uh, but is committed to making agriculture more viable, uh, better for them, for their families, their community and for the economy, uh, but also somebody who's prepared to invest in their community in a significant way over many years and, uh, like so many South Australians, doesn't do it for reward or recognition, but it is appropriate and I'm very proud of Mark that on this occasion uh, he has been recognised uh, with the award of an OAM. And so to Mark, uh, here in the Senate I would like to say thank you. Thank you for your friendship, for your support uh, during my time as the member for Wakefield and also now in my term as a senator. But particularly thank you for your contribution to your community, uh, to the industry of agriculture and to our state. And congratulations again, Mark Hill, OAM.